this is Uluru, guys. Pretty awesome spot. Uh, what is it, about 10 o'clock in the morning now, so it looks pretty cool. We're gonna get a fair bit of wind noise, but we'll check it out and see how we go. So, so that's it there. I'm gonna take us in a bit closer and uh, we'll check it out and I'll show you how big it is up close because from here, it doesn't do it justice. But this thing is 836 meters tall. Uh, it's pretty big. So we'll head in a bit closer and we'll uh, check it out. And um, then we'll head out to Carter Judah. All right, so we're here. Um, I'll show you on this side of it. It's a 10 and a half K walk around it. Not something I'm gonna be doing this trip but uh, maybe I'll do that in the future. So, she's quite big when you're right up to it. This point just here was where the climb used to be. You can see the trail marks that go right up the top. Uh, yeah, that's what's since been removed. So, all right, on to Carter Judah, and let's go and do a two hour walk for the Valley of the Winds. Very hard work. Jeez, oh, I'm really unfit. But yeah, pretty awesome up here though. Worth it, worth the pain. All right, first look at you know what? I might push on to the next one, 1.6 Ks. So we'll have a drink and drink and then we'll get going. Real windy down here too. Need of steps. I think they're making a path. Here, another K to go, and then I'm going to come back again. So I'm going to get a Karen Garner lookout. Nice little water hole. back it's pretty full on I'm unfit <laughs> but I uh, yeah, got the lookout I was going to and I'm gonna head back to the car and grab some lunch all right let's see how I did so I went to the second lookout which is here Karen Garner lookout so Karen Garner lookout was a grade 4 difficult 5.4k return trip so I'm not as unfit as I thought I was. Not bad. Definitely wouldn't do the whole thing though, not right now. But if I was a bit fitter, I'd do it again. Anyway, off we go back to camp. All right, that was a grade four uh, walk. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty unfit. And I'll sleep well tonight. So time to head off now, um, back to camp and uh, get some food. It's one o'clock in the afternoon now, almost. So, 
time to get some food happening and relax and probably do some washing prior to me well, I've got another night I guess or another day so I might just chill tomorrow we'll see how we go I might do my washing either today or tomorrow um, and yeah then I'll be on to Kings Canyon um, yeah should be good and I've got to go and to just get my thing that I come up here for all right, so the reason I came to Uluru was to pick up a stubby holder that was stolen out of my uh, Prado when it was down the ravine. My issue now is that they don't have the design that there was there two years ago. So the uh, lady behind the counter seemed to think I might have picked it up down at El Dunda. So uh, on my way back through, I'll pull into El Dunda because I'll need to get fuel and uh, we'll find out if they have that actual stubby holder or not. So the plot thickens. <laughs> 